All right. Good morning, good afternoon. <clears throat> um, I actually checked you guys in your class by it today because we were supposed to have biochempo zero at biochempo zero at which is uh, environmental biochemistry for the introductory part. Uh, unfortunately, Prof was uh, in the class last week, but late. Uh, so because this week he will not be available, he asked me to come and uh, maybe introduce the course with you so that uh, the subsequent classes, the the classes or subsequent week, the classes will continue. But uh, unfortunately, there was there and nobody was there. In fact, the place was locked. So I feel like uh, we lose the first week and this week. And um, if it goes like this, we don't know what tomorrow will bring. So we may be left behind. So I, I decide to produce something like this, a recorded introduction where I will introduce you to my Campo Zero Edge so that in the subsequent classes, Although I actually wanted to cover the first part of the class today, but I don't know, maybe before the end of the week, I should be able to produce uh, something that uh, I should be able to produce maybe another recorded class on the first topic of this course, if time allow. So today or now I'll briefly uh, go through the course content and uh, give a an overview of what we're going to discuss. I'm sorry for what is projected. Um, this is just one part of the class, which is the second part. So uh, I would give the the overview from the first part of the course. By Campos 08, if you check this student handbook, November 2023, I think you can uh, have a you can have idea on what's supposed to be covered over this time period. By Campo Zero, it's titled Environmental Biochemistry, one credit unit. Uh, the course is uh, an elective course. Yeah. And uh, the content of the course comprises of the biochemistry principles in the waste management. Here, we are going to introduce you to the concept of waste and waste management. What is waste and how does, or how do you manage a waste from inception to the final disposal? So we 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 talked about the principles of waste management. Uh, basically, the major three R's. We talked about the the um, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So basically, we talked about how a waste can be reduced. The concept behind reduction the concept behind reusing and the concept behind recycling of your waste. We also talked about some other processes involved in reusing and the processes involved in the recycling process where we talked about uh, the concept of energy recovery and the concept of resources recovery. And then uh, we also talked about pyro Pyrolysis. So that is the concept of wastes and waste management. Uh, second part, uh, still under uh, waste management, we'll talk about some biological processes involved in waste management. And uh, there we'll, we'll talk about bioremediations. We we'll talk about the process involved in bioremediation 
You also talked about the different type of bioremediation, the in situ and the ex situ bioremediation. We'll talk about the different classes under ex situ and uh, in situ. We'll talk about the advantage and disadvantage in each cases. And we talk about the peculiarity, why this particular bioremediation technique is much more suited in this kind of uh, waste and why some of these are related to each other. And uh, or in a particular scenario, we may decide to give a particular uh, scenario where we may ask you to suggest uh, technique that can better suit these kind of conditions, then you look into it and uh, analyze the condition, and then you can easily propose a technique that can easily be used to bioremediate or to combat the waste to a, an unharmful uh, state. After that, we also going to talk about um, biochemical aspect of climate change. So to introduce this aspect of uh, climate change and how biochemistry comes into play, we're going to introduce the biogeochemical cycle where we talk about uh, cycling of elements, cycling, because we, we already know the concept of energy and energy cycling, that energy can either be created nor destroy. And uh, we'll actually look at in, into this concept of how energy can neither be created nor destroy. And uh, similar case with regard to elements or matter, Will matter be created? Can it be destroyed? Or is it the same principle applied to, to energy? How are these matters, resources are recycled in nature from uh, hydrosphere to biosphere to lithosphere to hydrosphere and continuously? Or do we have a stage where a matter exists and it does not exist anymore. If it does not exist anymore, what are the transformation involved? We'll, yeah, we're going to see into that. So, so basically, instead of talking about quite a number of them, then we talk about, we selected the most common ones that are recycled around us. We talk about carbon, we are going to talk about nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, and water. How this, by discussing water indirectly, we, we talk about the hydrogen cycle, we talk about oxygen cycle. So um, we will see how these elements actually recycle in nature and how is this at the end be related to uh, climate change? Because of course, we will talk about the role of individual element so so the role here we we because we're trying to relate it to we talk about more of the bio, biological role of these elements we talked about um um steps involved in this uh the uh, cycling processes what are because basically how these substances change from one form to another it's related to oxidation, reduction, reactions. What are the prevalent conditions that lead to each stage? And what are the reason? And uh, what are the ecological benefits for that? We are going to see how this has an impact on human and how human have impact on these processes. We will see how the uh, impact of human on these processes affect the process or the normal uh, flow of these cycles and uh, how this is related to climate change. What are the mitigation strategies that can be used to reduce the impact or to even reduce these processes from the biochemical point of view? We are going to, to discuss all this so that uh, by the end of this class, you guys will have an idea on how biochemistry comes into solving an environmental issues, how biochemical reactions, how the concept of biochemistry, the application of recombinant DNA technology, the application of enzymatic processes, the applications of um, 
uh, protein chemistry uh, involved in solving an environmental uh, challenges, how unwanted substances in the environment can be tackled using uh, biochemical processes. We should definitely have these ideas. So for those of you that, uh, sorry for this. So for those of you that are registered for this course and those that uh, did not register for this course, please um, make sure you uh, uh, make up your mind if you continue with this or not, because we have a situation last previous years where a student would uh, start a course and along the way, maybe after the first CA test, they may decide to, to drop or some will come after or along the way. So, so maybe by watching this, you should make up your mind whether to continue or not. You would have a, a, a clear uh, So you have yourself to, to decide whether you will continue with this course or you will drop. But uh, basically, this is the concept and this is what you will be introduced. Believe me, you will uh, find it very interesting how the concept of biochemistry can be used to solve a lot of climate uh, issues, either it uh, uh, greenhouse gases, global uh, warming, problem with uh, food production, et cetera, et cetera. And, and these are actually a trending uh, cases in, uh, uh, in the world. When you talk about environment, the world is all about uh, the international uh, organizations, international world is talking about environment and how, because the issue of environment is something that is not localized. This is not a, a vacuum. Nigeria is not a, a vacuum that will say, uh, we are going to do this and uh, this has nothing to do with uh, anybody. No, but definitely uh, this is something that has to do with the world. If something affects this uh, cycling of uh, these substances, we talk about the global warming is an issue that has to do with the world itself. So these are things, topics that are very trending. So so just make up your mind and uh, get ready for these courses. If you have a problem with uh, ask question or the problem solve asking, uh, answering questions related to this course, please, you should contact the uh, previous years uh, those that have uh, that sat for this test and exams for this course, they should share with you the test question and the exam questions. You go through the questions and during the class, you can even bring these questions so that we can uh, talk to discuss about the questions and the approach you would go about answering the these questions. And if you don't, you can even contact me so that uh, I can provide you with some of the previous past questions, most especially the test questions, which I, I think may not be available with the student unless anyone was able to uh, release to some of them. So you can go through those past questions and then you can uh, try and uh, see because I, I believe by the time you go through those questions you can uh, see the interesting aspect of what i am trying to tell you and uh, how do you go about getting the good idea and, uh, concept in this uh, course and how will that introduce you to the uh, problem solving uh, topics uh, for those of you that have started the project, I, I believe you can even change your mind to say, uh, I want to go into something about chemistry, uh, environmental, so that uh, you can easily implement some of these ideas into the uh, practical aspect. So, um, like I said earlier, I will try and see that uh, we didn't lose the two weeks together, uh, one after another. So I'll try and um, see if I can produce another video uh, recorded uh, lecture on uh, the concept of waste and waste management. There I will cover 
concept of waste and waste management, the principle of waste management, and then maybe in the subsequent class, we continue with the bioremediation and its classification, advantage, disadvantages, and uh, uh, situations and scenarios where each and uh, of these classifications can be relevant and the type of waste that best suited the application of a particular uh, remediation technique. We'll discuss that and then subsequently we we'll talked about biogeochemical cycle, climate change and how this uh, concept can be used in a uh, or how human activities impact on those cycles and how is the impacts are related to global climate change, uh, global warming, in uh, greenhouse gases, et cetera, et cetera. So see you guys uh, in the next uh, maybe recorded class or if eventually I couldn't make it then in the, in the next class because normally we used to have the class together with Rob. So prop parts, uh, I will be in attendance, but if eventually uh, I couldn't make it myself because I, I, this time around, I, I want to go, I want to make it myself so that uh, the prof is very busy with so many things, but I, I will still see if it doesn't happen, then I will have to be attending the class in my pro, uh, pro, prof will give the class on the uh, concept of waste and waste management and also bioremediation uh, types. And then we continue with the uh, biogeochemical cycles and climate change. All right, see you guys then. Thank you.